Welcome to another tutorial for music production. This tutorial will be about drum sampler. The cool thing is because drum sampler is like an instrument track but for the drums. What does that mean? When you click this button you get all the samples that you have loaded previously. The benefits of using the drum sampler is that I can pretty much add various presets to those already made effects. I have the synth prism sound and this pitch envelope is something that I can modify if I want to change the pitch. That's a cool thing. Unlike drum rack, this feature isn't present. But when you add more samples, you don't get the same settings. Why? That's simply because this kind of drum rack, which is a drum sampler, doesn't have the same features. To get the same feature like in the instrument track, you have to do this. You have to drag another like this. And you need to go to drum sampler, instruments drum sampler and drag the kit over it. If you want to have all those features like in the drum sampler. Unlike the regular drum rack, in the drum sampler you can change samples. Here you can change them. Click this arrow. The system will pick the samples that are from the root folder of your program, but you can also drag the samples that you have previously made. Unlike the regular sampler, I can only play one note. The next note is another sample. The solution for this is to drag the sampler here. Just do this. Drop an instrument or sample here. You can play it like this. Well, where have I been? Instruments, lunacy kit. If you don't remember, you just need to go back to instrument track and redrag back to the instrument track of the drum sampler. Sorry. If you want to add more layers of the drum sampler, just drag them like this. The things that you can do is adjust attack, hold, which is how long will the sample play, decay, which is at which point it will decay, stop playing. This works better if you have a short sample. Decay increases the time it will fade out. Hold increases the hold time. And these are various effects that you can add to the sample. If you add loop, you can make the sample loop every time. Just drag it to see what region do you want. Offset. Offset is the vertical axis. Length is the horizontal axis. You can change the frequency, which is cutoff. and you can add resonance.
another thing that I want to share with you is that with the drum sampler you can also add various modulation for the effects that you have here. This adds a small reverb. This adds the attack modifier. The slide makes the sample slide. All right, let's record a simple drum loop. Make sure that this option is on. And make sure to loop. Oh, because I like that synth sound, I will add it at the beginning. Well, because I only have one sample for the synth right now, I can do this. I can record how I change the note. Click the right key show automation. And you can do it right now. Like this. Okay, that's it with this tutorial. Consider subscribing if you want more. Have a good day. Goodbye.